Central neighborhood is filled with joy this holiday after receiving a special gift from a beloved neighbor. Welcome back to News 2 at 4. I'm Kendall Ashman. Mark Kelly has a night off. Well, Charles Britt was working to make a wooden puzzle for his entire neighborhood when he died suddenly from a possible heart attack. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on how others stepped in to help fulfill his final act of kindness. Well, the month before he died, Charles Britt spent hours and hours right here in his workshop working on 300 of these guitar puzzles. And although he did pass away right before he was going to pass them out, neighbors and friends all came together to make sure these puzzles got out to the entire neighborhood. Dad was first and foremost a lover of God and a lover of people. He was, again, just serving and loving people, and that's just how I will always remember him. After retiring as a pastor in Georgia, 87 year old Charles Britt moved to Spring Hill 15 years ago, staying active with the Chamber of Commerce as a local chaplain and through woodworking in his spare time. He really took it as a way to, to serve people. Um, he would start uh, by making gifts for people. Uh, when someone would have a baby, he would make them a little plaque with the baby's name on it. And the holidays have been a busy time for Britt. It was customary for him to make ornaments and crafts for his neighbors. But this year he took on a new goal, making guitar puzzles for every neighbor. That's the cross. It wasn't about the monetary value of a gift. It was about what was put into it and the heart behind it. Britt completed his goal with all 300 puzzles ready to go. However, after passing away on November 21st, loved ones knew they still had to get these out. Give it a good hurl. On December 23rd, they there divided and conquered, completing that okay. task. One lady said she felt like an angel had dropped this puzzle on her doorstep, which I thought was very sweet and fitting. Britt's family hopes through this gift, his ministry and love for God will live on. And I'm just so thankful that we got to have a part in completing his mission and what he wanted to do. So I'm, I'm just very grateful. Now, incredibly, each one of these bags came with 10 puzzle pieces. And when you calculate that out, that means that Charles hand carved more than 3,000 pieces total. Reporting in Spring Hill, I'm Nikki McGee, News 2. Oh,